What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Key, and I'm back with another reaction. So before I get into this reaction, y'all, please make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. So I'm back and about to react to my girl, Glamazonte, my good sis. This is Vlogmas Day 3. It's a stalker text. Stalker? The oh, fuck? That's crazy. Stalker text? Don't believe the cap. The cap about what, sis? And LA Nightlife. Yeah, so let's get into this reaction and see what my good sis talking about. Because she said, don't believe the cap. Who capping? Let's see. Okay. She got that vlogmas intro done. Okay. I like... Santa baby just like slip a sable under the simple tree but cute. For me. I like <laughs> Good morning, really y'all. How y'all feeling? Good. How, How y'all doing? I'm doing really, really well. Period. I'm glad. Um, I just woke up and literally I just uploaded a vlog this morning yesterday vlog this morning because I went out with Caramia and was so freaking tired. I fell asleep in the middle of editing. Yeah. So I'm here. Um, like I said, I do my normal little thing. You still so look tired. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record a little bit of it today. Um, okay. First things first, when I'm doing this, I just go on my computer and I search in like for my guided meditation. I search in things that I'm feeling. So, for example, if I want more positive energy today, I'm going to do a positive energy guided meditation. Okay. If I want, Makes um, sense. If I want more of a happy... Um, guided meditation, I'll do that. A guided meditation okay. for peace, a guided meditation for like um, strength, whatever I'm feeling. Um, right now, I think I want a guided meditation for peace because okay. I'm not gonna cap, I'm not gonna cap. I did a little, I felt a little way because as soon as I woke up this morning, I had seen on my phone that Carla and Nick had posted. And you know, I love Carla and Nick, they're my one tease. Yeah, I'm but, one too. Um, they had posted a video and then people was in the comments just talking about like, oh my God, like my whole situation, my, my, my <sighs> whole situation talking about, oh my God, um, the comments. she probably left Tay and da, da, da. first of all, nobody left me, baby. Nobody left me. Did not get left. I do the leaving around this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> not even trying to be cutesy, but yeah, nobody left me. I did not get left. Respect. I, okay. So okay. at that point. Um, and people, I feel like people are just putting all these different narratives out. Oh, this happened because of this. This happened because of this. Like I said, when I'm ready to talk about it, I'll talk about it. I'm not right. ready to talk about it yet, so I'm going to talk about it like that. But when I am, which I'm pretty sure it'll be before the end of vlog, Vlogmas, the way that motherfuckers is doing it. Yeah. Um, the way that motherfuckers is like talking about it. And I'm not talking about calling it because I love them. But I'm just talking yeah. about people in the comments, all these fake narratives. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna talk about it before the end of Vlogmas because I just don't be liking too much stuff like that. But I feel that. me doing that, it just seemed, it just irritated my soul so bad. Like, I don't know, it just irritated my soul because I know the truth and everybody else is seeing all this different stuff. And it was none of that. It had nothing to do with basketball. It had nothing to do with, um, nothing to do with basketball, nothing to do with somebody leaving me. And it also definitely 100% had nothing to do with um, cleaning up an image. It didn't have nothing to do with none of that. Right. But like I said, when I'm ready to talk about it, I'll talk about it. But yeah, um, cause I got a crazy comment on my video that I did, um, the first reaction that I did to Tay and I ignored it because it's like, sometimes y'all just be coming up with these scenarios and it's like, where do y'all get that from? Like y'all, y'all really not in her life. Y'all don't know this. Y'all only know this woman from YouTube. It's like, y'all not in her day to day life. So how do y'all come up with them scenarios? You feel me? But for Tay, like. Don't let these motherfucking comments disrupt your energy, man. Like, don't pay these motherfuckers no mind. It's, it's, it's literally people that just have an opinion and um, they think that they know, but they don't. And you know the truth. So don't even let them disrupt your energy, you feel me? Take your time and talk about it when you're ready to talk about it, you feel me? Um, because you this, this it, it's not about us, you feel me? It's about you. Um, and at the end of the day... I'm going to continue to watch regardless, you feel me? And when you're ready to talk about it, you're going to be ready to talk about it. Don't let nobody rush you. Um, take your time. Do your healing process. And then when you feel like, all right, I'm going to talk about it, don't do it for nobody else. Do it when you're ready, you feel me? 
But this morning, I want to got a meditation for peace. So I'm only going to do, I'm probably going to do a 15 minute one. So what I've been noticing with me doing my guided meditations, and y'all can't even see them on my computer. <laughs> it's crazy because, um, it's crazy because I've been doing a guided meditation, a 10 minute guided meditation is so constant and so like on point that now I'm noticing that I need to do a 15 minute one. I need to bump it up because 10 minutes is just not enough. I think my body is accustomed to the 10 minutes. And it's crazy because yesterday when I was meditating, I literally meditated for 10 minutes and I was in deep meditation. And it's crazy because when it was over, like they'll tell you when it's over, right. my body was not ready to come out of meditation. Like it was one of the things where I was like, okay, I got to come out of it. It wasn't okay. one of the things where I naturally was eased out of, like naturally readily eased to come out of it. Like I kind of was like, okay, the meditation's over. Let me get up. Right. So what I'm going to do today is do a 15 minute one and I'm going to see how that goes. I've done one that was like 25 minutes. I think the longest I've done was 25 minutes or 20 minutes. Okay. But this one I'm going to use Boho Beautiful Yoga. She did a 15 minute guided meditation of five peace in uncertain times. Perfect. I love her. She's actually my, one of my favorites. I like her voice. Um, I like her background noise. I like all that kind of stuff. So she is like one of my favorites, but I do spread myself around and do other people too. But I'm going to definitely do a 15 minute one okay. today. Cool. Um, so I'll link that in the bio if you guys are interested in doing it. And then I'm also going to speak out loud my um, affirmations and praying today. I'm okay. going to try to do that if I feel comfortable enough after my meditation. And then I'm going to get on with my day. I love because it. Because it is freaking, what time is it? It's 9.31. So all I do is pretty much lay down, about to do my meditation, and I come back. Oh my gosh, so I just finished. I feel so freaking good after doing it. But <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was really I stayed in the meditation, but it was like it was kind of hard for my mind to not keep like um racing a little bit. But I did the best I could do. But also with me praying, I wasn't gonna share, but I was like, uh, eh, it's a little intimate. But I will um share an affirmation with you guys that I did listen to this morning that I felt like helped me um, just kind of be in my prayer, if that makes sense. Yeah, my I mean, actual that. prayer that I said was so intimate, so I don't want to share it. Right. But I will share an affirmation that was aligning with what my prayer was, and it's from Abraham Hicks. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys, but I'm going to see y'all in a minute. I'm about to literally right now, um, I got to do something, and then I'll be right back. So, yes. That was really good. And I've been drinking a lot more water, y'all. I've been doing my water tank. That's good. Okay. I thought she was on the water fast, so. <laughs> Not the feet up in the <laughs> tank. I decided silly. that I'm a good person and that I deserve good things to happen to me. Mm. And therefore, I've decided that I'm going to pamper myself as much as possible. I'm going to look for as much fun. I'm going to look for as much fulfillment. I'm going to look for as much ease. I'm going to follow my ease. I'm going to follow my bliss. I'm going to follow my flow. I'm going to follow the good feeling. I'm going to get let the good times roll. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to hang around with people that are fun to be with. I'm going to look for reasons to feel good. I'm going to keep a diary of good feeling things. I'm going to call it my book of positive aspects. I'm going to get a box. I'm going to call it my creation box. I'm going to throw all kinds of good stuff in it, and I'm going to proclaim it as mine. I'm going to accept the reality of this vibrational reality and I'm going to go there as often as I can. I'm going to bask. When I find myself basking, I'm going to milk it with everything that I've got. I'm going to look for other people that are doing the same. I'm going to trust that law of attraction is going to cue me up with them. I'm going to feel less responsible to fewer people. I'm not going to let other people make me feel guilty about what I'm doing. Yo, this room is so I need to hear that. Y'all see this? Okay, thank you, Tay. So thank you. Freaking dirty. Thank you. But I gotta clean it up. Um, I'm gonna throw so much stuff away, hang up so much stuff, and get rid of so much stuff. I promise you, because it's just like so much stuff. Do you guys? Okay, so I'm about to tackle this room and see y'all in a minute. Imagine congratulations. Right. So let's say you have been doing this a new job right mm. what you want to do is you want to think about a specific person that you know that would literally congratulate you y'all ain't never heard this before y'all ain't never heard of this before except from here so make sure y'all go ahead Tasty and support me leave on. a like leave a comment make sure y'all subscribe <sighs> to me on, on instagram and subscribe to me on youtube because what i'm about to teach you is is very powerful okay imagine whoever it is 
literally congratulating you on whatever it is that you want, right? You close your eyes, you say, you imagine mom is congratulating you on your new car. Now what's happening is, is you start to get emotional. You start to be like, oh my God, mom, I'm so, so, I'm so glad I got this. I can't believe this is happening. Now your emotions is energy in motion. The more energy you can get towards your manifestation, the better, right? Now when you start to imagine people congratulating you, what you're doing is you are putting yourself in the frequency of your manifestation. Mm. When you imagine somebody congratulating you, you are putting yourself in the frequency of that manifestation. Why? Because you're feeling the exact emotions. Your mm. emotions can change your frequency very fast. You can get in a very bad mood and now your energy is low. But you can mm. also get in a very high mood and then you will literally think, Oh my God, I'm in a, in a, I'm in a good, uh, a good headspace, right? So feel your emotions, right? So now look, after you done felt your emotions, you done cried about your congratulations. Now, when you go through your day to day life, you have to assume as if it's already done. Here's the thing. Y'all will manifest something and then y'all will keep manifesting as if you don't have it. That's the problem. That's the problem. When you do this imagination and this emotions part, what you want to do next is assume it's already done. If you were to manifest something, would you still be saying, oh, I can't wait to get it? Would you still be saying, oh, I wonder when it's going to happen? No. When you do that imagination and the emotions part, you have to act as if it's already there. Okay? No matter how, listen. You got to understand in the beginning when people aren't successful, but they're focused on something, people will literally be like, you never, I always knew I was going to be successful, but you didn't know. It's the same thing with your manifestations. Just because your physical reality doesn't show exactly what you're looking for, doesn't mean that it's not going to come true. No matter, and this is where faith comes in. You have to, if you read the alchemist, then you know. Once you've chosen what you want to manifest, you need to truly believe, you need to truly believe that all of the universe is going to conspire to bring it to you. You hear me? When you do that manifestation and you finish and you say, ha, I'm done. You got it. It's there. You've already put in the order. If you go on Amazon, you're not going to keep scrolling over the same product if you already ordered it. Ask yourself, if you ordered That's something true. on Amazon, would you keep going back to see, oh, should I buy it, should I buy it? No, because you already bought it. Period. Pepper, because you already bought it. You have to act as if it's already there. Mm-hmm. Period. All right. A word. <laughs> All right. So this is how to manifest. This is how to manifest. Okay. I hope y'all wrote that down. I hope y'all subscribe. To I promise y'all like, I promise you like, <laughs> that everything she was saying was 100% facts. Yeah. It, it was, was facts. People. Like with me, I be met like I manifested the life I have. Like for example, like um, me moving to California, I was acting already. I kept saying, "Yeah, I'm leaving for California in January." I had no money to my name. I didn't know how much it was gonna cost. I didn't even have a car shipping place. I just kept saying, "Yeah, I'm going in January." And everybody like, "Well, what are you doing? How are you getting it?" I, I was like, "I'm gonna get there. I'm not sure right now, but I'm gonna figure it out." Like when I say I'm gonna do something, and I've already sorry hold on when i say i'm gonna do something i've already implemented to myself that it's gonna be done i speak as if it's already happened so for example okay. like i want to get me a a new house mm -hmm. so i basically like yeah so by the end of the year i'll be moving into my new house my new house in cali my new house in atlanta like you know i'm just gonna i speak as if it's Set already happened so that is true and also it's crazy because a lot of people have been talking about me being so happy lately and they're just like oh my god i feel like it's a shadow or it's a, like a mask and i feel like with me i'm putting myself in the frequency of being happy yeah like i'm putting myself in the frequency of being happy i feel like when people typically are sad about like when people typically think about like she said stuff that makes you sad you're putting yourself in the frequency of being oh, sad so for example yeah. my my cousin 
my cousin passed and his birthday um just passed my cousin passed recently maybe like within the last two months and his birthday just passed within this month um i mean last month and when his birthday came around like i put myself in a frequency of being happy like typically okay. you would think that you're supposed to be sad because my cousin passed yeah. we're close to age we're kind of close you know um and his birthday is his first birthday without him being present in the physical world but i was like i don't want to be sad about it so i put myself in a frequency of being happy happy that he's actually transitioned to that next part of his life happy that you know i actually got to meet this person happy that i actually got to know this person you know what i'm saying so when his birthday came around i did have thoughts of like a subtle thoughts because i mean let's just be honest i'm training my it's mind hard, but i'm not 100 yeah. percent like perfectionist of it so it's like yeah. when things are i was a little sad but i retracted that thought with i'm happy that okay he's in a better place i'm happy that yeah. he had a life that he had i'm happy that i actually got to know that person so with his birthday i didn't even cry you get what i'm saying like you got to put yourself mm -hmm. in the frequency of what emotion you want to because it's honestly possible and it's very very true that when you want to feel a certain way you want to feel a certain way so for example with me um when stuff would not go my way or things would happen to me I would be mad, upset, sad about it before. So now when things happen and they don't go my way, I put myself in the frequency of it wasn't meant for me. Yeah. Rejection is protection. Okay. I didn't want that anyway. Something better was coming. Like, you know what I mean? So now I'm just in a space of that happened for a reason. So let yeah. me go over here okay. versus that happened. And now I'm fucking pissed the fuck off about it, upset. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. child, I'm training my motherfucking thoughts. I'm, I'm, that's a vibe. But I'm gonna I love um, it. put her Instagram if you guys want to follow. Oh, no. I seen it on TikTok. I'll put her TikTok if y'all want to follow her and stuff like that. But, yes. I clean my room. So, right now, all I'm doing is going through these clothes. Y'all know I always stay with a bunch of damn clothes. So, I'm putting these clothes and hangers, hanging them up and stuff like that. And still trying to go through getting wet, getting Not a lot of rid damn of stuff. hangers over there, girl. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing right this moment. So I'll be seeing y'all. Hey, y'all. So I really did clean this whole entire room. This whole entire. Um, only thing I got to do left now is the bathroom and the kitchen. I'm supposed to be going out tonight. So I ended up um, picking my outfit out. It's crazy because I haven't been on my fashionista stuff lately. I really have it. Uh, What's up me. with that, Tay? That shit, that shit niche, hair. man. So I'm either wear this hat or this hat. That's your thing. This hat What's or up? this hat. I don't know which one I want to wear. I got my little bag. So, between those two, that'll be my fit. Um, oh, and I want to put this belt with it, too. I might see how the belt look. It might not look good. It might look good. It might not, but all right. But it's supposed to be some little gay event tonight. I don't know. I don't really be on LA's gay scene. Hmm. Bitch, we about to try something new because, you know, I just want to catch a vibe. I just want to be out. I want to see what's going on. I, I want to be that. cute. I want to take some pictures of the my motherfucking best life. You know what I'm saying? Do that. So, that's what I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, and I need to get some emails. I never got to the emails and I got a bunch of other stuff to do. And then I need to write down my calendar and stuff. So I'm going to tune back in with y'all when I'm about to do that. But I'm about... Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So, okay, I'll be right back. Y'all know I got these long ass nails, so I've been having to use my incense to light my candles. The candle I'm about to light right now, though, is Endless Weekend by um, Bath Body Works. I don't care what nobody said. Bath Body Works candles be lit. Yeah. They be giving a little they bit. Do. Walmart candles don't be giving like that to me. I feel no. like everybody works on the best candles. Which y'all no. think? Candles, which y'all think? Because Target Walmart candles, don't candles. Be they be trying be to give, give, but they don't. And never Bath and Body Works. Walmart, to no, to me. It, it, it don't hit. Personally. It don't hit. No. Okay, so I feel that. It don't hit. Hello. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Ciao. I've been going for a little bit because I had to get myself together. I made myself some lunch or dinner, lunch, dinner, whatever. It was potatoes and shrimp. That was the last little bit from the first day one vlogmas. And honestly, oh, I 
let me know if y'all like my new intro. I did add my other intro, but somebody randomly made me that intro, and then y'all kept saying it reminds y'all of Kara Amanique's intro with the song, and I didn't know that was like the same song she used. So, I mean, give or take, it's not her song, but at the same point, I was just like, you know what, let me just switch up a little bit. So I just thought I decided to switch it. But I switched, use a new intro, let me know if y'all like that and stuff like that. I but I'm um, like trying to get my motherfucking self together because it was some shit going on on Instagram. And I have just, I honestly, I just couldn't even get no time, energy, or space. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? But what the fuck ever? Like, I'm over it. But I think I know what you're talking child about. Child was just so triggered and tempted earlier. Yeah. <sighs> Let me just say this. Everything y'all see on the internet, especially pertaining with me, if it ain't from me, that should be cat sometimes. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not even gonna trip off that, but right now I'm about to do my I makeup. Look at my picture back there. It's just getting a bitch I getting made out. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm about to do my makeup right now. So my friend, he's a little scripper. So I'm gonna go see him tonight and support him. Um and it's a little gay event. So who knows? There might be some hoes up in here. <laughs> but I need to spread myself around. I said I wanted to get out in the scenes more anyway, be out mm -hmm. in the vibes, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what, what shake out there. But I'm gonna do my little beat makeup. Um for my little outfit I showed out earlier. It's so fucking cute. So I'm really excited about that. But that's what I'm about to do right now, my makeup and stuff. So that's my little setup. So let me do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back. Child, I barely get see though, because I know my eyes be tripping. Hey y'all. What's goody? So let me tell y'all. So I literally just Put this shit down for y'all. Oh my god. The fuck is that? Okay. So I literally just got done getting dressed. She I was watching a tarot card reading. Every time so fire as fuck. Just pretty as fuck. I feel like the dark lip is giving to Selena. And and red, like. I like the dark lip, it's different. I kinda like bright colors, but I like the dark on her. It look good. Cause I'm already giving Selena before the fur come on. Yeah. Now I'm really about to be out here with a damn pink fur jacket. Everybody loves Selena's. Mm. I love this dark lip on me though. Maybe not this fit. Definitely not the fit, but not this one on me. With the pink fur? Ooh. Cause I'm like, this don't look like Selena. Girl, you be killing them. Put this one down on me. No, the lip is too fucking much, bitch. Let me show y'all my fit. Cause y'all really can't see me. I like the top half. I'm, I'm not that. the bitches in the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to watch, um, I want to do TikToks tonight. That's why I'm stressed so early. Bitches is a no. It's too much. Mm. Yeah, it's too fucking much. And the, the belt is too much too. It's just too much. <laughs> Let me come back with a, a lighter lip. My 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 little station. She's not feeling that dark. Let me pull her out the chain because bitch, this is not it. Hold on, let me get my let me get my other lip because girl, I look like um, I look crazy. No, you don't. Like it would be cute for something else, but not this. You don't look crazy. Like a damn cat. You look amazing. It's the way she taking it off her lip for me. <laughs> so girl, let me tell you. When people know you newly single, they come out of nowhere. Don't Why I was in my phone and this girl had text I got a message from somebody that was like, hey. And I was like, hey. No, they sent me a smile face. And I was like, who is this? And they was like, Kay, don't be crazy. How many people you know from this area code? And I'm thinking to myself, what? bitch, I don't care how many people. My nose feels dry, so excuse me. But I'm just thinking to myself, it's too late to be playing games with me, bitch. <laughs> Don't play games with me, bitch. <laughs> Who is it? 
So that's like, how many people do you really know from this area? Cause damn, you know that many people? I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time to play these games. Cause who the fuck mm. is it? Not you called me. Girl, why? Called you where? <laughs> Alright, um, let's uh girl why I just ended up calling her. And I get on the phone and they like, dang, y'all know who it is. Y'all know who it is. Cause nah. at first before I called him, I was like, who is it? And they was like, bye. So I was like, I got a new phone. I just got this new phone like what, two months ago? And it was this girl. Bitch, when I was like, I was like, who is it? She was like, um, you don't remember I'm still waiting to take you on that date. And I'm like, what? So now I'm putting two and two together. I'm like, the Eric Cole take me on a date. Somebody clearly that hadn't took me on a date because they said like, I'm still waiting to take me on a date. And then they said their name. And it started being like a little bell, but not a big one. So I was like, what? And she said her name again. I said, yo. I said, is you the girl who's going to drive from the East Coast down here, from the East Coast to the West Coast and take me on a date? And she told me, yeah. Mm. She press press. She was, I was like, why did you call me? She was like, because you called me. I said, called you? Mind you, I just got a relationship. So, bitch, when did I call you? I didn't right. call you. So, I'm just thinking to myself, like, this girl got to be playing with me. Bitch, no, she wasn't playing with me. And I was like, you irritated me. First of all, why would... I know I'm messing up the text thread. I'm going to show you all the text thread here. This is the text thread. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, why are you fucking playing on my phone? And then I started eating on the phone talking about, why are you always got an attitude with myself? I said, I got an attitude because you call my phone at 11 o'clock, playing on it. And then on top of that, like, why are you hitting me up? This is, uh, last time I talked to her was like two to three years ago. And it was weird. Like, she tried to take me on a date, but she was trying to drive from here, from, <laughs> drive from the East Coast to here to take me on a damn date. But it was like, Bitch, what are you doing? Like, I don't know. It was just not, it was not getting what it's supposed to get. It wasn't for you. It really wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like, it, She I wasn't getting that. what she was supposed to get. I'm yeah. sorry. But, yeah. Oh, well. Let me go look at my full outfit and see what I'm giving because That's a long let me take y'all with me. Because shit, I mean, honestly, I ain't really do too much today. And I need to see how this whole look is coming together. But yeah, she irritated me because why are you hitting me up? This is two years later, three years later. Like, girl. Because well, you got that effect on people, Tay. <laughs> Okay, with the boot. Yes. Get snatched. Mm. But Put that other boot on. Bag. It's giving. It's giving. It's the way she put the outfit like together for me. Ass, um, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cute. Do y'all think it's cute? I like it. I fuck it's with it. Like, it go together. Um, it look good on it. It's not going to lie. But I feel like I like it. Yeah. I don't know if I like. I fuck with it now. The back with it. The belt was cute, but I mean, either way. The back is giving that little bit of. Um, it's the see. body. I got some earrings. For I got me. some Akira, and I think I might like them better than these gold hoops. Hold on. These earrings are so cute, but I think they're doing too much. I really like them. I really like that store, Akira, though. It's kind of probably like one of my favorite stores now, to be honest. Yeah, this is too much. They're too blingy. Too much blingy like, for you. The blingy earrings with the blingy bag. It's like, damn, damn bitch. You bling the fuck out. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Mrs. Put It On. Because you put that shit on. I think the belt was doing too much, but I feel like I like it better now. I feel like I should also press. I don't know if I should do these gold earrings. I feel like I'm feeling more like silver tonight because everything is giving silver. So I'm gonna put my silver watch on, my silver hoop. So I'm back. <laughs> Bitch, I'm about to do a TikTok. <laughs> Hold on, let me put y'all down. I'm about to do a TikTok. Period. I'm not the bitches in the strip club. And I'm not the bitches on these reality shows. Mm. Let me hear. I'm not the bitches in a strip club. And I'm not a bitch on a reality show. Mm -hmm. My money is very fucking long, too. Mm. I'm not the bitches in a strip 
So I'm basically taking a piece of string and tied it around my belt. Period. Can you see a big bad bitch? Say hello. Okay, so I'm about to go take my pictures real quick. I'm gonna ask my um I met her a while ago. She's pretty cool. I'm gonna ask her to take my pictures with me. Okay, she's supposed to go out with me, but I don't think she's gonna be able to because you know she having something going on. Her nigga, but Yes, let me give y'all the ensemble, bitch. Here we go. This time. You say you hate me, but you love to watch me. I told him to take me. Hey, y'all. So, I'm on my way to my... Okay, so let me tell you where I'm going. So, I met this um guy a while ago, Young Pole Miles. Young Pole Master. Young Pole Master. And, um... His name is Miles, and he's such adorable. He's he's so adorable. He's so freaking sweet. And he invited, um, bitch, I'm lying. He's so adorable. He's so sweet. So he dances around LA, like you know, stripper dances. So I told him I was gonna come support him one day, and I decided today to be the day to do it because I feel like with vlogmas, like I said, my vlogmas is very unconventional. I'm a very young single young lady. I'm not very Christmassy. I'm not very. I love my family, but I'm not a very family-oriented person, if that makes sense. I love my family, though. I like to be around my family, but I'm just a, I don't know, I'm just very independent. I think that maybe if I have my own kids, I'll probably be more, Okay. when I have my own kids, I probably might be a little bit more family-oriented. Family I, I mean, I guess I kind of low-key wouldn't have a choice, but I'm just yeah. a young bitch out here getting it. That's why I feel like I'm getting it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go watch him tonight. I invited somebody to come with me, but I don't think she's gonna be able to come. But if she's not be able to come, I'm still gonna go because I don't know. I'm maybe I shouldn't go places by myself, but I always go a lot of places by myself. I go out to eat by myself. I feel that. I go clubbing by myself. I go to the bar by myself. I will literally sit at the bar, drink a drink by myself, or sit. Have I really been to the club by myself? I've been to. The I've been club to like by a myself. lounge by myself, yeah, but not I've like been, a club club. I've been to but the club. I go by myself, and bitch, what I do is. Play with me, cause I will tease your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Bitch, it's more from that. It's more where that came from. Okay, I will. <laughs> I will taste a motherfucking <laughs> heart beat. Okay, I will also. Um, Yo. Bitch, I got knobs. I got all types of shit. The only thing I don't have is a motherfucking gun, and I've been working on doing that. So you better tell them, mm. and they see me, don't fuck with me. That's bitch, I don't. <laughs> she ain't one of them. Don't play with but the yes, girl. But yeah, bitch, I'm gonna have to die. Um. I'm gonna I'm try to vlog a little bit, but the fucking camera, I like the bitch wanna die, but I ain't on that type of shit. So, if so, we gonna have to transfer over to my motherfucking other thing. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to go take my pictures real quick. I asked her, could she take my pictures with me? Even if she can't go out. She said, sure, she would. So, you know, I'm gonna go. But yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So, I'm gonna get off here so I'm not like rambling, but period. <laughs> Do you see her? You see her? 
You see me? You this see is you? on a Thursday, bitch. And you could never be that girl. You could never. We're sorry. I just came back from the dead. And you were still not that girl. Oh. You could never. You I love her though. She's amazing. Amazing. Super sweet. She's my new friend. Virgo Libra love. Oh yeah. Virgos and Libras. Finally home, bitch. We cool. I don't even know what to say. I'm just home. <laughs> I finally got home, bitch. I have one. Why is this thing doing this? I'm glad you got home safe. Today. That shit zoomed in by itself. What well, the fuck? What kind of camera song? you got? I don't think I drank that much. <laughs> okay. Came so, on some other shit. Just to give y'all an update. I just made it home. Look at my titties. Don't do that. Bitch, I'm tired. Don't, don't do that. I drove my friend to my house. I asked him. Oh pee. my god. I only have one earring in because I was like, I'm gonna finesse this shit. I don't think nobody will be able to tell. No way. And I'm lucky getting undressed in front of y'all, but. Doesn't really Damn. Matter. That's how you feel? But no, I really had a good time tonight. I went out very, like, Damn. I don't know what my hair looked like, so I'm hold it. I had a very good time. Um. I went to go support my friend and then I see my other friend outside. So I had a good time. I went to the Abbey, but it was really, really nice. I'm gonna go to a party tomorrow too. But I promise you, if you wanna make it, all you gotta do is wear a good fit. It's crazy how different LA scene is from Atlanta. It's definitely totally different. Look at my wig. It ain't even have all the way on my fucking head. And not even to even police that. And then all the way on my goddamn head. Wild Tay, again, no. Outro. No goodbye, y'all. Nothing. You just left us. You hung up on us again. I love Tay, man. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. I love Tay, man. Even though she keep hanging up on us like that, we know she gonna call us back. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts on this video, though. But before mm -hmm. I get out of here, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.